So this is the Jenkins which we have been already launched and kept. Up. <clears throat> so everybody go in mute, okay? So once you have any questions, in between every ten minutes I will be opening a questioner session. So at that time you can ask whatever the question coming in your mind, okay? So unless please stand in uh, mute itself. <clears throat> so these are the jobs which we have been created and uh, we started to work with our Jenkins, okay? So today we are going to see some of the advanced concepts like. Uh, uh, yeah. pipelines and uh, user management so this is one of the important item related with uh, jenkins so before i start with uh, jenkins uh, pipeline management uh, or working with uh, jenkins i have already told you that uh, jenkins is one of the important tool related with the integration purpose okay so here you need to know about uh, for what purpose we are needed this uh, integratory tool and how to view as a pipeline okay so uh, we are going to now start with something called as pipeline okay so related with the pipeline whatever i'm going to teach you now i have already made a documentation so that documentation i will be sharing you at the end of the session so probably you don't need to copy it on anything so just listen carefully that what is a pipeline for what purpose in jenkins we need a pipeline okay pipeline is actually a workflow okay in real time environment we will be working with multiple uh, uh, builds and multiple uh, deliverable patterns na then definitely we need something called as a pipeline for what purpose we need a pipeline na to have a flow of your work and that the flow of the work to be easily calculated or tracked out na yes you need something called as a pipeline why because in real time environment you will be having hundreds of jobs in your jenkins window so all those jobs are going to be get maintained under one window na then it will not be that much very easier for you to track it out that for what release you are working with or for what build you are working with or for what project you are been working with why because jenkins administrator will be maintaining all the jenkins related uh, jobs or builds in a one single window only that is what the window you are now seeing here for example here itself we have created some of the test component which is called as xyz and then we created a dev project one test project one prod project and then one deploymental project so all these projects totally five projects we have all these five projects are not only for our purpose we have it for different different purposes okay so if we are having it for different purposes then ultimately all these need to be viewed from a single window right it will be much more irritating for the developer or the administrator to manage it so for easy management there comes a concept called as a pipeline which will be helpful for you to manage your items into a separate window so that there will be a dedicated window provided for you that dedicated window will be having only the build and its flow of work so that you can easily maintain it. so this definition may be not giving you that much wider idea so what i will be doing let me try to do something practically to show you how this can be done in a better manner okay check out here if you go and click on this plus you can able to see something called as new view why because we are not okay with this particular view why because all type of projects all type of jobs are viewable here and this is not going to be an easy management window this can be okay for your jenkins administrator but when we are doing towards some project or some release that release related builds item all need to be kept into a separate window so that is what the expectation of a administrator or expectation of a end user will be end user of jenkins so that prospect to what i'm going to achieve now i'm going to achieve it in a manner like if i go and click on this plus window it will be helpful for me to take into a separate view or a separate vision so we are going to have a separate view or a separate vision <coughs> but here we need some sufficient plugins for that particular activity so those plugins we are going to get downloaded so to download a plugin we need to go into manage jenkins so under your manage jenkins you have a column called as manage plugins so under your manage plugins we will be searching for some of the appropriate plugins what are all the plugins we need to totally two plugins what are all they na one is considered to be as a build plugin <coughs> another one is a delivery plugin but there are totally <coughs> build pipeline plugin and delivery pipeline plugin there are two pipelines of plugins we need to be get downloaded what are the purpose of this particular plugin we will discuss it some sometime later but let me try to first download the plugin why because downloading the plugin will be taking one or two minutes so let me go here to the <coughs> filter column and search with the name called as a delivery pipeline plugin yes on the first line itself we can able to see the delivery pipeline plugin same like if you try to start our search with something called as a build the pipeline na yes you can able to see build the pipeline plugin also so build the pipeline plugin let me search with the name build 
DUIM build pipeline. So once I search with build pipeline, I can able to see build pipeline also. So both the pipelines have been ticked and I'm going to install both the pipelines together. I don't want to do one by one. So that's the reason I have ticked both the plugins and I'm going to provide with that installation. Now let me come to the story of build pipeline and delivery pipeline. Who will be using build pipeline? Administrators or the developers who are involved in the activity of a builder, they will be using build pipeline. There will be some of the people or management people or some architect people, they will not be using build pipeline. Rather than they need the overview of the entire release. So they will be bothered about the entire release only and they will not be putting their hands and working into the business. So those guys will be using with the one plugin. Yes, they will be using the delivery pipeline too. So both the pipelines have been used with the, let us go and see one by one how it has been working in a real time environment. So I'm going to set up now two plugins for you. One by one, let me <coughs> do it. So first thing, let me go to a delivery pipeline plugin. Why? Because it is used by the management end, I told, right? So higher end people will be using this delivery pipeline. So let me use something called as a delivery PL. So let me give a name called as a test delivery PL. And let me choose that particular delivery pipeline option and it will be taking me into a wizard where I need to choose some of the operations or options related with the delivery pipeline. Actually, I told the pipeline is all about it is going to be a workflow. So whatever the flow I am choosing out from this five jobs which I have already, that two jobs alone will be coming into this pipeline vision. We have already clubbed three jobs. You have already seen the first day of our Jenkins session. What is that now? We have a plugged, we have a, a clubbed our uh, dev job, test job, and then our prod job. So this is what going to be the uh, test case we are going to use for our learning purpose. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pick dev job, test job, and prod job, that pipeline alone, so that that workflow is already queued up and kept. So it means that uh, before coming to the pipeline, uh, you want to pick what are all going to be your job, and uh, those jobs need to be Ascending voice need to be queued up so that that queued up operation you can able to view it from your pipeline. Check out here how I'm going to choose that particular item. Leave everything as default value. So don't need to uh, put your hands on all this. We will be discussing all those things in some time. But if you come down a little bit, you can able to see something called as pipelines. There an item called as components will be available. So let me go and click on this add component. There it will be asking to give a name for the component so it's not needed actually and if you come here you can able to see that initial jobs so there you will be able to see all your five jobs which are available under your Jenkins main window so Jenkins main window have all the five projects in that we are going to pick the initial job as our dev project why because dev project is going to be the initial job of our pipeline because our pipeline is all about dev test prod so I'm going to choose the dev project as the pipeline of the initial so once I choose the dev project, then you don't need to give the final project. Why? Because it's automatically queued up. So it will be going in a queued manner. So don't need to worry about it. So leave it off uh, rest of the things as a default value and click on this OK window. So once you click on this OK button, it will be creating a new window for you, which there it will be showing you uh, the trigger set, how it has been triggered and kept. So you can be able to see that uh, the, this particular job has been triggered one time uh, six days before. And the job has been successfully triggered out. So that is why you can able to see a red green color uh, shadow being available here. If at all anything happened to your job, then it would have been shown in a red color. And if the job is in progress, it will be showing in a uh, blue color. And if the jo job is queued up and it is about to call now, then it will be showing in a gray color. So all these are the options which are available here. But if you see here in the delivery pipeline, you cannot be able to see that the delivery pipeline options with the normal triggering button. So you don't able to see any triggered button, which means a delivery pipeline will be used by the managers or the management people or the architect engineers I already told. They will not be sit under triggering the things and they will be viewing only about the flow. So for them, this diagrammatic representation is more than enough for them. For that the reason there has been no default uh, build button has been kept for this particular trigger. If at all you need to trigger the job now, you need to go here to click on this all button and you need to go under trigger your job from your dev project. So once you trigger the 
job from your dev project you can able to see that one more the job has been started to call and this job is in progress and this job is been in queued up so that is why you can able to see a gray color in the prod prod project now it has been become a blue why because it is in in progress but earlier it was in a green color so all the job has been successfully called out now it will be turning out to a green color job if anything in between it got struck out now then it will be with the red color then from there it will not call the rest of the jobs so that you can come to a conclusion that something happened to this particular job so you need to go to the log or the console and you need to check out that what caused the error and for what reason it got failed out and then you need to troubleshoot your issues to fix the same but if you see here for every time we need to go to this all button and you need to run the job actually architect engineers or the management people will not be running the job that is a different story but still i told that if you need to run a job na every time you need to go to that all button you need to run it that may not be a that much feasible thing so what i'm going to introduce you so now i'm going to teach you that how to make a button available here itself there you can go and edit the vision of the delivery pipeline so if you click on this edit to view there it will be taking you into a window <clears throat> where you can have your own edit button available for So you have an option here available called as enable the manual trigger button, enable the rerun button, so enable the new start button. So all these options we can enable with so that we can able to view those options available in this window itself. Now you can able to see a trigger button available here. Not only the trigger button, you can able to see the rerun button also available here, which means that if anything happens in between the pipeline flow, that where the struck has been happen. from there itself you need to continue and you need to run na then there you need a retry button so that retry or rebuild or rerun button has been available in your each of the uh, sub projects that is the head project will not be having that why because head project will be called with this particular button only but all the other sub projects will be having the rerun button also so now using this button i'm going to run the particular job once again so if i click this button you can able to see that these jobs are all started to run and which job is queued up and which job is in progress everything you can able to see so this beauty is what called as a pipeline so pipeline has been differentiated for you with all the normal jobs location it has given you a segregated vision so that release wise people can work with these pipelines and they can work with that particular project alone and they don't need to worry about any other projects which is not under their vision why because multi projects and multi teams will be involved with this jenkin so definitely they should not be having a overall uh, overlapped vision so that overlapped vision to be avoided you need a segregated vision so a separate pipeline like a vision has been provided by your jenkins using a pipeline so pipeline plays a vital role in real time and we will be seeing more different types of pipelines in our devops related project also now i have shown you one of the example related with the delivery pipeline and we have another example also which i will be calling it as a build pipeline so i am going to show you that pipeline also so let me go and click that one and let me try to create build pipeline then i will open a questionary session for you if at all you can compare it with and if you have any doubts yes you can come across with okay so let me go to the another new vision so if i click on this new vision you can able to see a radio button with build pipeline vision so here i'm going to give a test pipeline alone test pipeline means it's a build pipeline so i'm going to give a okay symbol there also it will be taking you into a wizard button where you need to choose all the options i am going to leave all the options as an empty only option i am going to select the initial job alone so in the initial job i will be keeping my dev project why because the dev project is only having the queued item so that the queued jobs all will be visioned under my same vision so i am going to choose this dev project and let me go and click on this okay button so once i click on this okay button it will be taking me into a build project setup but in this build project setup you can able to see only one output why because the recommended thing which is as per the default item it was able to show only one item if you want to change this configuration yes you can do by clicking on this configuration button there you can able to see that uh, normally it will be showing up only one option but i am going to take you into show up with the last to five builds so you can choose last five build or ten build whatever the build you need maximum we will not be going it with more than five build why because we are much more worried about the recent builds we are not worried about the older builds so you don't want to view all the builds from here so now you can able to see that all the last three builds of your <coughs> jenkins uh, for the project called as a dev test 
broader project so this pipeline shows you in that manner so here if you want to run yes you have a run button by inbuilt which shows that whenever you need to click on this run button it will be running a job instantly for you so don't need to uh, go like uh, your uh, test uh, I mean, uh, you like your delivery pipeline and you want to set it up. Why? Because uh, every build uh, job need to be initially kept with the build button. Eh? Why? Because by default, it has been required with it. Why? Because build pipeline will be most used by the developers or the administrators, as I said earlier. So they are the people who are going to trigger a job. So definitely you need to have a build option available here. And if you see here, you can able to see a console option also available here so that you don't want to get into the job to see the console output. So what happens to the job? Everything can be viewed from the console output here itself. So if you click on this console output, it will be able to show you the console's output. But my browser is having some compatibility issue. So that is why it is not able to show you. But I will be showing you in a different manner. So I can go to this configuration button. So if I click on this configuration button, in the configuration button, there will be an option available for your console output link. There it was given like a light box. I don't want to see it like a light box, like a pop-up. Let me put it like a new window box. So that it will be opening in a new window for me. So that I will be adding up into a new window. And then once if I click this console output, it will be taking me into a new window. And there I can able to see the console output that if any of the job got failed, then I can start my troubleshooting by listening to the error, what has been captured out in my console output. So these are all the features which are available with your delivery pipeline, sorry, build pipeline by default, which is not available with your delivery pipeline. So as I said, the delivery pipeline is only for the viewability, but also your build pipeline will be involved not only with the viewability. Uh, why? Because it is all about the end, end users of the Jenkins. That is the reason uh, AWS has been, uh, Jenkins has been provided your uh, advanced features to it. So those advanced features include one more item also. It have an inbuilt rebuild button also. So rerun button or a rebuild button is not necessarily to enable rather than it is enabled by default. So these are all the options available with it. There you can able to see one history button also. If you see an history button, when this job has been called out at last. So when, uh, when was this job at last called out? At what date or time? So when this has been called in earlier days? When an error occurred? For what reason it has been errored out? So all those histories you need to be investigating. Na? Yes, you can investigate those histories also related with your Jenkins. So for all these purposes, only Jenkins has been ultimately used with so Jenkins is one of the best tool into the market for these reasons which it knows the pulse of the end user and it will be providing all the features related with it why because in real time you need this history kind of button why because for example i was being able to face an issue related with my production batch job the production batch job which was been getting regularly failed weekly one day but rest of the six days it was successfully running out Okay, so I was been having an idea that for what reason that was been uh, specifically failing out in one day, but uh, not on the other days. Now I can able to investigate that uh, that scenario with this particular history button. Why? Because every time I am getting this failure on the same day, or the same day of the month, or uh, I'm say uh, I'm facing the issue at the particular time. So all these are the investigational pattern which will be helpful for me to investigate my issue. Why? Because uh, this history will be clearly telling about uh, when or what time it made a failure. So that you can go and uh, check with your window and you can come to a conclusion that uh, on that same time uh, some other bad job also running out. Uh, so that's the reason the CPU or the memory which is not sufficient for this particular job to run. Uh, for the other reason it is getting failed out. Then we can able to conclude that, uh, okay, this may be the reason. Then why don't we move it to a uh, slave node? And why don't we segregate our project and keep in, uh, keep under our Jenkins at a different uh, time? So all these will be the better options or the solutions provided by the Jenkins administrators after an investigation. But to investigate, you need some data, right? So that data will be provided by this particular history button, which will be clearly explaining you the details related with uh, what happens in the uh, older time. So in the earlier time, what was an issue and for what reason we have phased out this item. All this uh, clarity of the picture will be provided by your build button. So your history button will be helpful for that way. Okay. So all these are considered to be as a pipeline oriented items. So this is just to give you an idea that why in real time we need a pipeline. 
so where in real time we will be using this pipeline so for what purpose in a, uh, in a real time a jenkin administrator will be going ahead with a pipeline respective of a build or a delivery so that only i have been provided with a vision or an idea related with it okay so now let me pass it out here with this particular topic and let me open a questionary session so whatever the questions coming into your mind yes you can ask with me i can try to figure it out the doubts for you okay so try to ask with me and now one by one you can mute yourself and unmute yourself and you can start to ask the question no questions everybody is clear or someone is typing in chat okay cool everyone is clear at least from any one i can I get a acknowledgement okay i got a chat now okay sandeep says that he is clear can i take the same thing from everyone okay and i have introduced two pipelines don't ask me how i have found out these two pipelines why because i already told you how to find a uh, plugin related with any of the activities so if you go to that plugins.jenkins.io.url you can able to see these pipelines now go and investigate now take up on assignment okay so you go and check out in real time that i have introduced you two pipelines right why don't you learn the third or the fourth pipeline give it try okay so if you go to that plugins dot jenkins dot io that url you go and search for something called as a pipelines then some pipelines are related with the business will be provided for you which will be helpful for you to understand that in real time organizations apart from this delivery and build pipeline what are all the pipelines we will be using out okay so this is the case here and we will be learning a project related with the devops in our future session right i'll be giving you a project related with the devops so there i will be teaching you one more pipeline also so that pipeline will be differing from these two pipelines so that you will be already known with the three pipelines but i want my students to learn some other pipelines also so give a try and take up an assignment and do as a documentation and come back to me okay so who are coming with the documentation let me see out check it out okay fine thank you so let me move on to the next topic related with it so this is all related with the pipelines so now you know how to create a job in jenkins and you know how to work with the job and how to schedule a job and how to queue a job and how to make the queued job as a pipeline so everything we had a vision now right so this is a better idea to learn about the jenkins now i am going to teach you how to how to manage an account with the jenkins why right? because uh, what is an assignment okay so the assignment is nothing but to go and to learn some other pipelines i have introduced it to two different pipelines one is delivery pipeline and another one is test pipeline right you are now going to learn another pipeline and check it out i am not going to say any name you go and find it out some other pipeline and try to install with that plugin and try to find it out how that plug how that pipeline works and come out with an documentation related with the assignment okay so this is just to make you to go and search something related with the plugin on your own okay and i know i think you know very well where you go and you need to find your plugins which i showed you in the first day or the second day of the session itself right plugins.jenkins.io this is the url you need to go just to go to the plug i mean google and search like jenkins plugins list that itself will take you into this particular url okay so i think i am okay with the assignment also now i'm coming to the next item which i will be calling it as a user management can anyone say what is called as user management what is a user and what is a user management user access given to the user okay the access provided for the user why you need to provide an access for a user next question why you need to provide access for a user uh, if someone uh, uh, unwantedly deleted something else so we need uh, give a access okay you want to appropriately Uh, condemn the access related with the users why right? because for everyone you should not give every access that is the ultimate goal am i right yes okay so you yes. need to create groups you need to provide permissions and you need to uh, control the access of the users related with the jenkins right so i am having here how many jobs totally five jobs five okay so all these five jobs are differentiated between the projects and also differentiated between the uh, people who are working with the project So definitely, all the five projects access should not be given for the one. 
the one who will be having all the five projects access now he is nothing but the administrator that is nothing but your jenkins uh, admin that is nothing but me okay so i'm going to be as karthik and i'm going to hold the entire access related with it so i am going to be the master user but for this master user some of the sub users you need to get created with so that the sub user creation and how to provide a permission related with the, that sub users we are going to see here so let us see one by one how that can be organized and kept so now we are going to get into our real time perspective of understanding how to create a user or how to manage a user okay so i am going to now help you that how to manage this user check out here now first i am going to create two users minimum apart from karthik okay so to create an user where i need to come now i need to come to the manage jenkins so once i come to the manage jenkins there i will be able to see an option called as manage users can you able to see under security to create a manage users so click on that manage user so there only one user is available that user is visualized here you need to create multiple users now yes you can create multiple users so go to this create option and give the name for your user i am going to give the user name as a user 1 and i'm going to give the password as a 1 2 and the full name for the user one i'm going to give it like user user dev why because the user is going to be a developer okay since my user is going to be a developer i'm going to give it as user dev because i'm going to create two users both the users i'm not going to create as a same one i'm going to create it as a developer another one i will be creating as a tester so that i will be having two users okay so now i need to give a email id So I'm going to give my email ID itself for him. So let me give some email ID like karthikgmail.com, and let me create a user. So now one user got created. Same like I need to give another user also. Why? Because only if I have more than one user, I can usually differentiate and will be showing you the difference between it. Okay. So let me give the user two as a user test, so that the user two is a tester, test engineer or a quality analysis people. okay so i am going to create now two users so these two users i am going to give in this manner now i have created two users user 1 user 2 user 3 user 3 is going to be my administrator so totally three users we have one is going to be the master user and other two are going to be my sub users so this is how the way you need to create a user under your jenkins so now we have created a jenkins with a user so now the next option what i am going to go now i am going to go ahead with the security change over option but before that let me show you what the security related with jenkins is available the security related with jenkins will be available under the security column under your manage jenkins you can able to see the configure global security so if you click on this particular option it will be taking you into a window where you can able to see the all operations related with the security will be available if you scroll down and come there you can able to see some authorization option what is authorization na how we are going to control or how we are going to make people to access this particular jenkins admin console now so far as an admin karthik only uh, karthik only accessing this particular admin console as i said i am going to give access for multiple users so that's the reason i have created two users also user 1 and user 2 one is a developer another one is an administrator the same perspective now what i'm going to do now i'm going to give appropriate access methodology for this particular user check out here what are all the methodologies available now there are a methodology available anyone can do anything this is a methodology is an option that whoever don't need to any access anybody can touch this particular console and any operation they can perform definitely that will not be the suggestible option to be provided in a real time so definitely we are not going to use that particular option legacy mode is an option in older methodology to have a database related with security or accessing it with the your ldap connections so that methodology also we are not going to use now the current methodology is logged in user can do anything which means that whoever you are creating as a user they all will be having a equal access definitely you should not have a equal access we need to differentiate the users with access why because a developer guy should not have the test uh, job related access and the testing guy should not be having a development related access the same thing is going to be restricted here also how we are going to restrict we can able to view it and all these methodologies whatever it's going to be get worked out you can self learn yourself also by clicking on this user button which will be detailedly giving you a idea related with it but i'm not going to use any of this option here i'm going to introduce a new option for you which i will be calling it as a roles and responsibility related strategy so i need that particular option available here now i need to install that particular plugin here 
so i don't have that particular plugin that is why i am not able to see any option called as a role based authorization so that is why you can able to see the matrix based and project based so here we are going to go ahead with the role based operation so to go ahead with the role based operation let me save this page currently and go to my manage plugins so let me take you into my manage plugins there i'm going to search for a plugin called as a role based authorization so i need to check for something called as a roles so if i go give something as roles then automatically role based strategy and option will be coming out let me choose that and and then let me try to install what is this a role based strategy for example here we are going to set up a uh, user and uh, password oriented setup for one user and we are going to provide a permission for him according to the work what he is going to do for example in an organization all will not have a equal access that is option 1 another one is everyone will not be having a full access that is also more important so we are going to provide access according to the roles and the responsibility that is according to the work what they are going to perform so we are need to know that what work each team will be performing then accordingly only we can able to provide a permission to them for example there is a team called developmental team now what will be their roles and responsibility up to what limitation they will be working with a jenkins in their projects so all those related projects only they need to have an access so like that we need to provide access for our jenkins related projects check out here how i'm going to add up that one so now go to your manage jenkins you go to your security page there under your security page a new option now got created that new option name will be role based strategy so that radio button which was not earlier available now it will be available for you if you scroll down you can able to see that one okay so role based strategy so if you choose that role based strategy now we are going to work with the role based model only so we are going to segregate the users with the help of uh, roles so we have already created the users now we need to create the roles and then we need to map the user with the role this is what we are going to see earlier you would have learned iam in your aws now the students of me who already learned iam under me you can easily able to correlate this thing with your iam so what is iam identity access manager so there we will be creating some permissions and we will be creating some users and we will be mapping some permissions to the user right same thing we are going to do here but with the jenkins okay so if you scroll down here you can able to see some of the option available for you as manage and assign roles this option will not be available for you earlier before you enable the option of your role based strategy now you have enabled your role based strategy oriented operations right yes since you have enabled your role based strategy operation you can able to see this button available here click on this particular button it will be asking you to create a new role for your business so what i'm going to do i'm going to create two roles for me but actually what are all the roles available here now we have three kind of roles one is called as global role another one is item role and the third one is a, a node role so totally we have three roles node roles we are not going to see today why because node is related with the machines so we are not going to see any machine related management we are going to see user related management user related management now we have item role and we have global role only these two items only we are going to use so first let us try to understand what is the difference between a global role and a item role what is global role now overall access related with the jenkins item role now specific project level access with the jenkins so we have something called as a, here a navigational tree so this navigational tree is all related with the jenkins only so jenkins level we are going to restrict access na then we will be using global roles and we have created five projects and the five projects related access we are going to restrict na we will be calling it as a item role or a job role or a project role so we have three two options available here so let me first fill it out the global role available for me so global role we can create a global role option by providing a name called as employee since all our employees of an organization i'm going to add this user one and user two as a employee only but i'm not going to give the administrator access why because if i provide an administrator access these guys will be having entire control over the jenkins this should not be permitted so definitely i need to give the only read only access so let me give a read only access for him related with the overall access and for other jobs also in view na yes job related read only access we can provide 
and also view related read only access will be provided so anywhere you need to provide only a read only access but if at all you are going to add any co admins for the jenkins na then appropriately we can give some administrative access also to that co admin who is nothing but a jenkin admin who is going to work in another shift for you apart from you got it so that way we can restrict all your global related access related with jenkins now coming to your item roles which is nothing but in real time as i said you will be working with this, this particular thing for managing your projects so here i am going to introduce two roles one role i am going to call as a developer role and that role will be managed with a project whichever having a pattern starts with dev dot star check out what i am giving i am giving here something called as a dev dot star which means this is a pattern of understanding that what projects will be coming under this particular guy so that is the reason i have insisted you in the earlier that you need to create any project with a naming convention so any project with a proper naming convention will be easily managed by the user management window so here i have a naming convention called as a dev project which means all the projects which are starting with the dev will all will be handled by the developer for that the reason i am giving here a developer will be a role and he will be managing with a pattern with the dev so that way i am going to give a dev dot star you need to give dot star and also this naming convention is a case sensitive so make sure that what case is in you you have been followed within that way you are been giving the naming convention same like i am going to give another idea also which is going to be a tester so testers all project will be starting with the test dot star so here another pattern i am introducing this particular pattern is nothing but how this test role has been managed out so all your testers related projects will be managed under the role called as a tester that role will be accessing only the projects name that starts with the test as a prefix so i have added a test as the prefix also here and let me add it now i need to provide the permissions related with my development and also with my test here i am not going to restrict anything i am going to give full permission related with the project so why because any project owner they can do their project whatever they need why because they are the owner of the project but they should not be touching other projects so that access i should not be provided for that the reason i am providing here with a role based strategy and there i have introduced my project related pattern as a prefix also so that now all these people who are accessing my project all will be having a limited access related with their only project only so now i am going to save this particular pattern item also so now i have created a user also now i have created a roles also now the next thing is assign i need to assign my roles with this particular users so whatever the users i have created with all those users need to be appropriately mapped with their roles so that the user will be getting the appropriate permissions also to manage our jenkins administrative console so now check out i am going to add the assignment of the role now go to the assignment of the role there under your assignment of the role you can add your two users user 1 user 2 always give the user user id which you have been choose to for the users we have choose the user 1 and user 2 right so that's the reason i'm giving user 1 and user 2 and user 1 and user 2 both are going to be my employees so that's the reason i'm adding him as a employee so user 1 and user 2 became my employees so now coming down item related role i need to split to this user 1 and user 2 because user 1 is my developer and user 2 is my tester so i need to add the appropriate access to them so user 1 i will be taking the developer option user 2 i will be taking the testing option so the tester and the developer will be differentiated here so this case you can able to understand that in real time environment how i will be splitting out my permissions related with it now go to your jenkins and log out your window once you log out your window you log in here as an administrator na once you log in as an administrator you will be having full access with all the projects you can able to view all the projects and also in the left side navigation tree you can able to view all the uh, buttons which are available for it if you want to create a job yes you are allowed to create a job since this is a administrative user so this administrator user will be having a full access okay so if you go to your management window yes under your management window also you can able to change your permissions whatever the thing you need okay so i'm going to manage the user and i can able to assign the roles and also i can able to change out my permissions yes i am able to have all these permission oriented things available for me 
this is what called as a management role so if i go under my okay go under my account as a another user which is nothing but a developer user so i am going to give user one as an option and if i am going to get into this particular item there you can able to see a difference check out here what is the difference you can able to see you can able to see only one build button available for you that is nothing but the development project alone we can able to view all the projects but we cannot able to take any action item related with the project so why because these projects are only controlled by some appropriate people one and jenkin related access you cannot able to have new build button also that is a new job creation option also which means that you cannot able to create any newer jobs definitely any user should not be allowed to create a new job only the jenkins administrator need to create a job why because if i allow you to create a jobs na then you will be creating hundreds of job which may be affecting my performance of the server so i will be having a chart related with the what time with the what job is running in which server or which slave server so accordingly we can able to plan it out our business to execute it in a controlled manner to have that controlled manner only we are giving not that particular access to the people here so now this is all about creating a individual user and managing it with a individual user now take up an assignment what will be the assignment na now you need to create a group then what will be an option related with the jenkins okay so how to create a group or name the group name and bring multiple user called as user 1 user 2 user 3 and all you don't want to add a roles directly rather than you can create a group and you can add roles and you can bring those users under the particular group so that multi users will be managed as a group so how to manage that with a group so let me put that into your chat also then i will open a question session also let me put that chat for everyone so that who are missing out my assignments you can gather it out from the chat now you are going to check it out in jenkins okay so how we are going to manage it with groups okay so let me type it out in jenkins group management i told you as a user management right now you are going to do group management okay so how to create a group or how to work with the group whether that option is available or not or for that any plugin need to be added all need to be done as an assignment assignment when i am providing na you should not check with the answer for me you need to provide it as a documentation that's it you should not come and again again pinging me and asking me whether this is what your question is whether this is my correct answer is all should not be the thing right so you are all already now getting matured with the jenkins i need a proper direct output of an answer you can check with your friends but not with me by correcting with an answer right so this should not be like a school days how we'll be going and checking with a answer with our teacher saying like miss karta miss karta like that you should not ask with me right so it will be forcibly making me to correct you and i don't want you to correct i need you people to correct by yourself for the other reason what i'm asking you you need to go and check multiple blogs and you need to learn out of that particular blogs and videos then you need to come out with an assignment with an option because i can correct your class work i can correct your homework this is not homework or a class work this is an assignment which is a different credit for you so that is why i am mentioning it as a assignment never ever don't come back to me related with assignments to check with me you check with someone else okay that someone else may be your jenkins working friend or jenkins learning friend or jenkins blog or jenkins youtube why because rather than giving an assignment i itself can teach you it won't be taking me 5 or 10 minutes for me but why i'm giving assignment na i'm making you to learn or get a troubleshooting skill i need my students to be the best troubleshooters because industry is not expecting anyone who can be a who can be a guy to work in 8 hours shift without any issues you need to get issues you need to resolve your issues that resolving mentality and stability capability ability how you will be getting na only if you start to do your assignments without any one's help these assignments are not very bigger tough things and all once you understand the question and once you understand the procedure and once you understand the methodology of searching the things with google yes you can easily find it out 
so that the thing only you guys are going to be lack out now then you need to learn that thing that is what the insistence or that is what the mentality or motto of this particular assignment providing got it so now let me open a question session can anyone have any questions yes you can ask any questions uh kartik yes ah uh, one thing uh, i need Kuchari. to ask uh, krishna yeah, ah uh, regarding a uh, jenkins the master and slaves uh, yeah. i already told uh, is there any separate class or will be to... if i'm saying that i will be having a separate class what you will be doing if i'm saying i'm not having a separate class now what you will do tell that me first then let me plan it out sorry can you repeat one uh, if i'm going to have a class what you will do if i'm not going to teach you now then what you will do i have to surf on youtube and okay already i gave it as an assignment for you on the day one of our class itself so far what you have done for that so you are waiting that i will be teaching or you have already started learning i tried about uh, okay i know that you will be you will be having a problem we related with it why because that is one of the toughest assignment okay you try more depends upon my mood i will teach you <laughs> okay just kidding i'll be teaching you don't need to worry okay but i need you to try why because if you are getting some solutions out of you because if you check in my syllabus master slave model operation is not at all there in my jenkins syllabus okay but i am going to teach you okay i will be teaching you don't need to worry about it okay but i need uh, like these multiple questions will be coming in interview for all the questions whatever coming out of the syllabus why because we are not learning here jenkins for 40 hours actually to learn jenkins is jenkins is a 40 hour program okay jenkins is a 40 hour program and 10000 rupees fees for that one that is what i was earlier doing we are not going to sit and learn jenkins for 40 hours and you are not, you guys are not ready to pay 10000 rupees also both the way we are not going to be sufficient with it so what we are going to plan it out now we are going to pick something related with jenkins what in real time we are going to work with okay so some of the things i am picking out and i am keeping as a syllabus and i am teaching you do you think that this alone will be sufficient definitely an interview will be coming out of the box why why because we have not smell the entire jenkins if you would have already learned 40 hours of jenkins na then that is a different story we are going to learn jenkins for 4 hours of ayas only because that is what the limitation we have with our syllabus but why don't we go and explore more that the mentality only i am trying to create with you guys why because we are not learning jenkins we are learning devops devops jenkins is one of the tool only. okay so i am giving these assignments for the purpose of making you to understand how jenkins is bigger you need to know the entire size of jenkins then only you will be going and exploring on your own if any new entry questions are coming into the picture yes you will be having a troubleshooting skill and you will be getting your own answers so that it will be coming back to me whenever you are getting a different entry your questions for that the reason i'm giving you this particular assignments okay i will be teaching you since it is not in a syllabus i'll be teaching you but every question that you are getting in interview you cannot come and check with me right every time you cannot come back to me that interview questions whatever you are facing in an interview next interview before you go with you need to be get stabilized with it now how you are going to do with you need to go and search for the answers so i am making you to get ready to search for answers now itself so now wherever come with again back to me because the ultimate aim is you should not come back to me that is why i am giving this assignments for you okay understand uh, do you understood the entire soul of why i am giving the assignments okay so many institutes many trainers so how they will be training now nah? they will be sticking with syllabus whatever the 10 points they what that they will be having uh, they will be easily covering the 10 points uh, by giving some notes uh, by giving some lectures uh, and doing some practicals and they will not take you out of this 10 points itself then what it will be happening now when you go and hit, hit to the interview floor you will be entirely getting struck there you will be blaming the trainer i should not get to that blaming that's the reason now itself i'm giving you some of the assignments if i'm giving as an assignments try to go and learn by yourself why because that is the proper methodology of learning i'm closing here anything else uh, hello 
yes uh, hi kartik uh, vasanthi yeah? yes uh, i have one question regarding uh, authentication means yes. how the things authenticate uh, the users you are you are saying about the authentication right okay okay yes. now we have seen something related with the authorization so let me get mm -hmm. it into this particular thing as a admin okay so you did you saw the operation related with the security there you saw with the authentication and the authorization also right check out what was the authentication methodology they have been provided with sorry i have given a wrong one go and choose the security group means okay secure what is the security configure global security okay okay so jenkin have its own database to store up all its data related things so there only you can go ahead with an option of ldap also which i said earlier so this is all a security schema which need to be added out with so jenkins now currently follows its own database of storing your thing so this is what the assignment which i have given for you okay. earlier i asked you to how to go and check the users or where this user related files are stored and kept in which xml that the thing is related with this security real so authentication methodology what it follows jenkins maintains its own oh, database online. to store its all user related informations but if at all you need or you have an ldap yes you can move on to an operation of ldap also but what is the difference between an ldap and a own database anybody have an idea about ldap and a own database own database means jenkins having its own file to store the user id password then what is ldap uh, ldap ldap goes to the active directories uh, uh, okay what is the what is the role of an active directory so which will maintain the users and uh, we can group the users into uh, set of users into a groups like that yeah. so where we can get you will be calling ldap as a lightweight access lightweight directory or the access protocol so protocol. all your access related informations will be maintained and kept like a database uh, externally to the supporting application that is what here this is internally to the supporting application called as jenkins so if jenkins is having an internal database na that is jenkins own database if it is going to be the external database or a protocol or a access window or access database na then that is what one of the type called as ldap so ldap we will be using na so that for every application you don't need to give user id passwords individually so let me try to make it in a uh, overall idea for you okay so let me try to give a paint diagram okay so if you go to jenkins there you have an option called as jenkins this is your jenkins under your jenkins you have a file called as jenkins related security oriented configuration files there you can write and keep your user oriented information this is option number 1 okay so this is your own user information will be written and kept okay there is another option also which is called as jenkins will be available you can have a database which is not internal to the jenkins but it can be with the external to the jenkins which will be called as ldap so here we are having an option called as ldap so what this ldap will be doing na ldap will be having a set of user id passwords okay so this ldap will be having a set of user id passwords all these user id passwords will be common for all the people who are working in the organization so this ldap will be used by this particular jenkins so jenkins will refer this particular ldap for any authorization or any authentication mm -hmm. same like you will be having another option also which we will be calling like splunk right in our upcoming days we are going to learn something called as splunk also so splunk also need to have a authentication na then splunk can refer for authentication the same ldap itself it doesn't mean that you need to create one second the user id passwords of those 100 users into splunk so if you have a common database area where your user id passwords are stored and kept na that is what called as ldap so ldap is an active directory so that directory will be holding the information about the user id and passwords of any users so that that ldap can be connected with different applications called as jenkins or it can be connected with applications called as splunk whatever it may be so accordingly it can be used with so now this is used by your splunk and this is used by your jenkins so commonly this ldap will be available for you got it okay Thanks. Super. So this is your uh, authorization with the authentication. So you can go ahead with whatever the operation is available for you. Okay. Any other questions you have?
any other guys have any other questions running? uh karthik i have one question uh, we have an hello yeah tell me i can able to hear you uh hi karthik uh, karthik we have in the configuration file uh, where we can disable security like uh, use security to false yes and uh, without logging to jenkins uh, we can just uh, handle like yes. creating a project so uh, so what is the uh, the security because anybody uh, who have access to the translation folder they can go and change the config yes. file right so yes. how we can uh, it, it, it is not suggestible but it is about the flexibility only right if at all you are not in a live yeah. environment you can work with that right same here it's also yeah. available check it out here anybody can do anything which means it's a uh, revoking the security measures which you have been added with your business okay. so you okay. need that to have that option also but you are using or not using that is depends upon the administrator's uh, mentality or the business functionality okay right but you should be having yeah. that option so every application will be having a non user wise logging operation also that may be a lesser okay. security which is not recommended but uh, it's not recommended only that option should be available why because in uh, non live environment it's every time you need to log in into our environment with user id password now it will be irritating for you why because multiple time you will be restarting multiple time you will okay, be yeah. uh, working with the same thing or that mm -hmm. the purpose it has been kept out okay. you need you can take it out but oh. doesn't mean that the live environment definitely with no security definitely the live environment there will be a security, security only okay Fine. Yeah. Thanks, Kathy. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Anyone else with any questions? Okay. So I think I will be stopping out here with these two topics. Okay. So one is user management, and I have uh, stopped with the pipelines, and I have given you two assignments also. Assignments on your own interest, you are going to come back with the uh, if you are able to find any other new pipelines. Uh, that the pipeline, you should not come and ask me. This is a pipeline or not? No. Implement that pipeline. Work with that pipeline. take an screenshot of that pipeline and come back with me an answer that is what the ultimate output i need i need every assignments to be as a document okay so i have got some of the documents from divya sandeep also okay so these guys they have come out with an output that is the reason i asked them to make it as a document only an assignment is a document for example any of your uh, uh, teacher is asking you an assignment na they will be asking you to do in the uh, what is the extract difference what is an extract where you saw extract i didn't get your question hello gps yeah what is extract what is the exact ah? okay sorry mm, exact difference for which one you are asking the difference hello okay forget about that so oh, assignment in a sense i need your output in a fashion like you want to make it as a document or a chart right so that will be better much more once after collecting all the assignments whoever submitted me later on i will be sharing those assignments for your learning purpose only i am not going to do anything with that i am not going to go on the hunt any jobs related with the uh, uh, jenkins or devops right So it's all for your learning only. So let us learn all together. Get some information from me. Getting some information from you. We are going to circulate it to between us. Then we will be getting abundant of data. Then that will be ultimately make us to grow more. Okay. So we all going to go grow together. That is what the ultimate aim. Got it? Fine. That's it for today's session. Let me drop it down. I will share all these videos once this video is getting uh, uploaded. Every time, once after the session, never ever here. I am having almost forty-seven uh, people as a participant, so I am giving this uh, thing to you. Uh, don't ever immediately ping me by asking uh, recording uh, notes at all. Give me some time, why? Because after the session, I may be engaging with another session. After the session, it may be taking some time for me to uh, download the thing and upload into the S3 and to share to you. That time my internet may be weak. So all these other criteria are there. So what you do once after your session, hold on for a few minutes and then come back to me. I mean, no, hold on for a few hours and then come back to me at the end of the day. Till that, if I didn't share you that uh, particular notes, na, then you can ask me by pinging that uh, Karthik, can you please send me the notes? At least wait for the end of the day. Okay, you are not going to immediately shut down the system, and you are going to sit and learn. I know 100 percentage you will not be doing that one. First, you need some breathing space, right? Same like that breathing space I also needed. Same like my trainers also needed. So give that thing also here for me. Okay, thanks for understanding. Thank you guys. We all will drop down one by one.
and i will be sharing you the notes related with it okay thank you ending up the meeting yeah hello uh, i have a question this is yuvraj yuvraj yeah yuvraj yuvraj can you be a little bit louder uh, can you hear me I yeah yeah now i can able to hear you yeah yeah actually so jenkin we can install through linux also linux sir yeah yeah we are already working with unix platform called as ubuntu yes you can go ahead with windows or linux any platform you need you can go ahead with i have shown you or shared you the information related with ubuntu that is one of the choice okay. uh, suppose uh, i have uh, a red hat linux uh, yes uh, version 7 Yeah, so we can install it. In yeah, you can use it with your RPM packages by downloading Java and then downloading your Jenkins on top of it. The methodology or the steps which is involved in downloading the commands only will be changing, but the methodology or the steps which is going to be involved will be the same. Only the commands will be changing out when compared with your Ubuntu. But it, it will be showing the uh, GUI mode only, Jenkins. Jenkins, you can work from CLI also. That we will be seeing in our next session. We have a CLI also. In Jenkins, if you go to the Jenkins, sir, you have some command line interface also that you can work from your server itself. Okay, that option is available here. You can able to see that option available here. Check out Jenkins CLI. So this we will be learning in our upcoming session. So in the next session we'll be discussing about this one only. Got it? Can you able to see? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. so this we will be discussing we are about to discuss with your command line okay thank you thanks all thank you thank you karthik bye kadi bro yeah who is it um jenkins uh, sandana bro yeah sandana uh, jenkins uh, first bird video irundha apdi share panni varunga ana anunga bro ungala thaniya anupidra neenga separate ah. ah. ping panunga okay, okay. Thanks. Okay, Thank bro. Okay, bro. Thanks.